चाट मसाला सुना है गरम मसाला सुना है बट प्लीज मीट पेन मसाला Hey, it's Vish. This is Raghu. Hey, this is Pratik. Garsh Gar. And we're Pen Masala, and you're watching us on Bollywood Hangama. Hi guys, welcome to Bollywood Hangama. My name is Urmin, and today we're with a such a band that definitely blends Indian and Western music in the form of a cappella. They're also the first South Asian band on world stage. <laughs> चाट मसाला सुना है गरम मसाला सुना है बट प्लीज मीट पेन मसाला थैंक यू हाउ आर यू गाइस डूइंग आई थिंक वी नीड अ स्टार्ट आई मीन आई डोंट वांट टू जस्ट लिसन टू यू ऑल सेइंग वी आर डूइंग ग्रेट हाउ अबाउट वी गेट अ स्टार्ट श्योर या लेट्स गो आवर वॉइसेस आर अ लिटिल अ लिटिल बिट शॉर्ट वी हैड आवर लास्ट शो यस्टरडे बट वी आर बेस्ट ओके ऑलराइट जू 1 2 1 2 Aryaman, Vish, mm -hmm. Raghu, Pratik, and Gorge. I feel like I'm taking an attendance of a class. <laughs> <laughs> It's so nice to see y'all. And uh, quickly tell us, y'all had a very very special show last night in the city of Mumbai. How was it? It was Amazing. incredible. I mean, the, the audience reciprocated everything. They gave us so much energy. Um, it was just a great time. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that like we talk a lot about in Masala is how um, in the past. Like a lot of our shows were primarily in the U.S., okay. but coming to India and performing in India means that everyone knows not just the English but also the Hindi. So like, we don't even have to sing some of our songs. Like yeah. mitva, mitva, like the crowd is just singing it to yeah. us, and we had such an amazing time. I mean, it's and we, incredibly humbling yeah. to see like how many people like come onto the shows and are like so excited and energetic and kind of bringing that to us so that we can you know take that energy and kind of give it back to them. Now. India is a country where uh, instruments were created, and to have a band that mm -hmm. is all a cappella, and I'm sure, जितने लोगों को शायद ना पता हो, अब पता चल गया हो, a cappella is creating instruments through vocals. Guys, am I saying it right? Yes, yes. yes. exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you all started like about what? The, this band is active for about three decades. Twenty-seven years. About most, yeah. Twenty-seven, yeah. Three yeah. decades. But you guys don't look that. <laughs> good. When, when, how did this all happen? Yeah. So I mean, we're all part of the University of Pennsylvania, and we're all students here. So like, as we go into the school, uh, we can audition for the group, and every four years, the group completely rotates as seniors graduate. Taking new members, and that's how it's been going. Do you all know how did the name Pen Masala come along? <laughs> yeah, we were asked yesterday. Actually. <laughs> we actually uh, talked to. We, we we were lucky enough to have uh, the person, one of the founders of the group, there, okay. and he he answered it. Um, one of the, you yeah, guys can paraphrase. So, <laughs> um, basically, the explanation is um, like so. Pen because of the University of Pennsylvania, and then Masala is like it's a combination of spices, um, and that's kind of what we are. We take like Western music, and we take like Eastern and Indian music as well, and we kind of. Use them into something cool. So that's like masala. It's also it's obviously a word play on pan masala. Yeah, pan masala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. Uh, I love I love the blend that you all bring together, Western and Indian, and you know there's there's this twist to it. Uh, do you all also do uh, independent work, and how has that been? How has the response been for the independent music that you all have created? 
Yeah, um, so actually most recently, we're starting to make like more original music. So I think a lot of us um, like grew up listening to Pen Masala and we listened to a lot of covers. Uh, but this past year, we released a couple of new original music, um, a couple of new original songs. One is called Hazy, um, off our most recent album. Um, and it's awesome. It's like a little bit of R&B, a little bit of hip hop, um, a little bit of jazz. I don't know, it's fun. There's Bollywood as well in it. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a good song. A little song. bit of everything. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yeah. So since you mentioned that this is a band that has been active for about three decades, uh, when y'all joined the band, were y'all individually crazy fans of Bollywood music? Um, I personally was. I was also a fan of Masala. Like, I listened to a lot of Masala music, listened to a lot of Bollywood music. So What is Masala music for you? Masala music? Um, I mean, like, personally for you. Yeah, personally for you. <laughs> uh, honestly, like, I don't know. I just, like, really like acapella, the sound of acapella. Um, also got me through some, like, tough times in high school, so... Honestly, yeah, it really means a lot that I'm part of this group and able to contribute to it as well. What about all of y'all? Did you all, uh, Armin? Uh, my case is a little bit different because uh, my whole family basically went to Penn and my brother was in Masala as well. So, uh, and he's like, just like, he, uh, these guys were in the group, with him. in fact, earlier, I just joined a year back. So, and I was listening to Masala since I was like seven, eight years old. So, um, I was always a fan of like Bollywood and of Masala itself. So like, it was like, I knew I was going to audition for Masala like, the day I got into Penn. So, uh, yeah, I was like super excited about it since like before I came to college. That is great, Wish. Honestly, a little, not as much of a yeah. story history <laughs> behind <laughs> my interactions. Yeah. But, you don't um, have the bachpan se hi Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I definitely grew up listening to a lot of like Bollywood music with my parents. Um, and I think sometime around high school, I like heard like one or two mixes from Masala on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so I like I knew they existed, but once I like started applying to college and like seeing what kind of opportunities there are to get involved in, in groups, Pen Masala definitely stuck out like stuck out to me. And I started listening to more and more of their music over like that two year span while I was getting ready for like applying to college. And obviously, once I got into Penn, I was like, like I one hundred percent will be <laughs> applying like yeah. trying to get into the group and actually. I vividly remember the last time I was in Mumbai. Did which you guys have to audition, by the way? Like, yes. Oh, yeah. It was like a huge yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. audition. Yeah. So and it's then definitely yeah. selective, but <laughs> yeah. 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 The, la the last time I was here um, in Mumbai, I was like, like trying to prepare for my audition. Um, so the last time I visited Mumbai, um, my family, I was born here, but um, it was four years ago. So, and I'm a graduating senior now. Okay. So it, just, it was kind of interesting coming back and realizing all of that at once. That is so cool. Gorish, you're the business manager. Yeah. Oh, I love the title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the business manager. I take the calls. I decided this interview. Yeah. Oh, man. I was taking so many calls. I just ran away. Um, but yeah. yeah. Uh, how fun is it managing this amazing group? <laughs> it is so... <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I'm so glad I can be a part of it. I am vocally not gifted at all, so <laughs> it's, truly there would be no other way I could be part of it. I'm so glad. Um, it, it's just amazing, like um, yesterday, like um, seeing the music come to life for the audience, you know, collabing with what Shankar Mahadev and on stage, that is incredible. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, being part of like making that happen is like what really matters. And um, answer your question, I knew about Pen Masala. I think it, it has like a name, um, like from Pitch Perfect 2, I actually learned about it. So I definitely knew of it. Um, and then when I got to Penn, everybody's like, you have to audition. And that's why I did it. Yeah. Well, wow, but Pitch Perfect 2, Pen yeah. Masala on it. What a proud moment this must be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did that also motivate you all that, you know, you'll have to be part of this. This is, this is huge in any case. Yeah. yeah, definitely. We were the only collegiate acapella group in that movie. So, you know, all the other ones, they were mostly actors, like, making yeah. up fake acapella yeah. groups. And I think to be the only acapella group and that being a Desi acapella group, they could have chosen any Western one. It shows you, like, um, it's not just about, you know, being the AC acapella group. It's about just being an acapella group, yes. in, you know, in that larger space. Tell us all about uh, doing a concert with Shankar Mahateva. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, he is actually, like, one of, like, my family's, like, very close friends. So uh, when I, like, I, we, like, everything was decided very last minute. Like, it was, I, I couldn't believe what was happening, even though I've known him for so long. Uh, like, just like before we got on the flight in the morning, I was just like, will you come to the green room and just do a small, like, recording of Mithwa or something. He's like, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll decide on the spot. Now with Akbala, like, we don't decide things on the spot. We practice, like, a lot. Like, everything has to be, like, real. Because there was 13 members singing. Yeah. So, uh, and he's like, no, no, do So I was like, okay, perfect. He comes, we finish, like, the recording, like, what, 10 minutes? I don't know how long it took. Max 10 minutes. And then, like, live, we called him in the middle of the song. He said, like, 
I'll just do a little bit. This show is about you guys, which is like that shows like real humility. And then he just comes and just takes off, and all of us are looking at each other on stage, like yeah. what is going on? Like yeah. the ro- people didn't even know he was in the audience, and just saw him walking up, and the roar oh. in the crowd. Oh my god, yeah. it was just like what something else. It what was like treat. I mean, it was just surreal for everybody on stage. Like, yes. the and the improvisation was insane because yeah. we're like there, we're yeah. like looking at him, we're like feeding off of his energy. He's like kind of like. He he's like just like he I don't know he like he kept improvising on the spot and then we were like okay like we got to keep up with him it was just an an honor and, and this is not great. something we're used to like we don't like improvise on stage yeah. Yeah. like you can't yeah. possibly improvise with eleven members yeah. and then he just somehow made it work I yeah. don't know how he did you it you get all the looks like like in the film you know when yeah, when yeah. someone tried to uh, in in pitch perfect one I think when mm. you know they tried to uh, improvise a little and there were all these yeah. what yeah. issues yeah. 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 we were just like yeah. smiling and just like yeah. enjoying it like yeah. I don't think we've ever had a moment yeah. like that on guys stage. correct me if I'm wrong but one of the key ingredient in a cappella has to be concentration because you all have to all be at the same pace level tempo everything so during your shows and while you are performing live how do you all manage to have that uniformity I think it's tough, honestly. Um, it was specifically tough when we were performing with Chunkerji because, oh. like, everyone just wanted to listen. To him. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, I want to stop singing. I just want to like listen. Yeah. Um, but you know, it takes. I think at the end of the day, it just takes a lot of practice. Right. Um, you know, we put in like three hours pretty much every single day of the week on top of school. We just run reps and reps, and we are. I think at this point, like, we can sing without even like hearing each other, and we can like be in tune. Like we're at that point. We like. Practice so hard to be able to perform in like any sort of situation, um, and it just comes from like a lot of hard work. I'd say so. that is that is huge. Yeah. Uh, there have been some really massive performances at the White House, mm. at UN. Congratulations on that. How was the experience? I mean, um, none of us were there for yeah. those two, but um, <laughs> we were like five, six years old. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> speaking to no, our alumni, no, but to, to speak yeah, to yeah, those yeah. people yeah. and you know who your. Uh, Alumni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah alumni. Yeah. yeah, they've told us about the experience, and it's genuinely amazing. Um, like, for example, for performing in the White House, that was a uh, Diwali celebration at the White House, um, and that was 2009, so the second year of Obama's presidency. And of all the people he chose, it was Pat Penn Masala come, and that was such an amazing experience. And I think what really mattered is it showed that um, what after 13 years of Masala was created in 1996, um, we were being like honored on like a great stage, and it shows that like um, like how much. Like more like recognition, like Daisy music as a whole had, I think, because like to be honored at the White House was an amazing thing. Do you guys feel the pressure, but that you'll have to take take y'all at some other level now? You know, just keep up the legacy. Yeah, I mean, we're all like when you come into Masala, some people know a lot about it, some people don't. But like yeah. just being a part of the group, learning about the group's history, just makes you want to put in a lot into the group and just push it to new levels. How do you all choose a song? How do you all decide that this because there is a, a, an English song and then you all join it together? How do you all manage to decide that okay, we're gonna sit and work on this and it's a thirteen member group, so thirteen heads together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I can I can talk a bit about this. So a lot of a lot of the time it actually come comes about pretty like organically. We're um, we're like jamming out in the car. Uh, we have like some song playing in the background and then somebody's singing another song on top of it. And we're like, oh wow, this melody goes on top of this song very very well. Yeah. And then there's like a spark. And then the song, the mashup idea is created. Yeah. And then you know we like run it by a bunch of other people in the group. Um, we arrange it. We start singing it. Um, and that's kind of how we make it. I think a lot of the times when we're thinking about making like a really good mix, um, the biggest thing that we're sort of thinking about is whether or not like the melody that's in the English song and in like the Desi song flows really well together and it's like cohesive. Um, and then we think about like meaning as well. But um, yeah, it's like, pretty organic. We're just jamming out, having fun, and then the mashup just happens. Yeah, so I, some... I like vividly remember one time um, I was on. I think we were on spring break, um, and like most of the group went together to like like a beach somewhere, and we had a long car ride. So we were just listening to songs and just singing on top of each other, and we came up with like like ten different like like mashups, and then we were just like having a good time. And I think that's like a big part of how like the group likes to like spend time together. Do you guys have to keep carrying a recorder with you all every time you all go? I am so thankful for voice memos because the <laughs> yeah, amount of like, the amount of mashups, the amount of parts that like we learn with voice memos just hearing. Yeah. Because one thing is that um, not everyone in the group is like Western trained. So like a lot of times, a lot of like people who have Indian classical training, um, they learn by ear. Mm. Like that's like the most like uh, the easiest way to learn things. Um, so voice memos and like recording everything is like something that's like ingrained into masala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We also like do some songs that were created like twenty five years ago, and there was yeah. no sheet music for those songs. Uh. So like, we like had to figure out the parts, what the background parts are, just like through hearing it. Yeah. So yeah. 
<laughs> and then there are songs that you know they're both hindi songs like i heard uh, a version that you all created for sher shah which was uh, uh, rata lambia and ranja from the same film and and overlapping it still didn't mess it up in my ears or my head i was like oh my god i can hear them together and how does tanish know about it <laughs> like was he creating it like that <laughs> and then there are you know so many uh, i i love the uh, tu maan meri jaan uh, version that you all did that was so special what's your current is there a current song that you're listening to um, something's going on in your mind um, what's in the pipeline Um, there was actually like a day during finals week like recently that two of us just got on a call and we just like thought of like 30 mashups like what about like 5 a.m. we just yeah, not like, sleep we just coming we, up we were like yeah. like computer science stuff math stuff do like two days later. i don't know what we were doing but like <laughs> we just like like whatever is trending whatever we like like we just came up with a bunch of matchups like okay we record right now and we're just going to do that we we'll do more stuff for the summer as well yeah. Yeah. but like yeah i think each of us has our own like current hmm. like go to song i think pratik so die for you we'll probably yeah. cover that soon Uh, we like Mahan Mahi Jaan apna bana le so like things like that so we, we like, know that yeah. Aryaman's family was part of uh, Masala right you said my brother yes. your brother was and, yeah. and uh, did you all also have the same support from family or were they like oh taken aback that is this what you want to be part of mm. you're going to be famous for <coughs> this any of y'all <laughs> Honestly, I feel like um <laughs> like you like, always have one person. <laughs> hey, that is me. <laughs> I think I think um I think one big thing is like the the group is like it's a significant investment of time, mm-hmm. energy, yeah. effort like and and it becomes like your family. You spend a lot of time practicing and you also have to manage your classes, you have to manage like like friendships, relationships outside. Um like so I think I think like when I first got into the group and I was like conveying to my parents like how much time I was spending on this like like we sent you to school to like you know study you know <laughs> like why are you spending 3 hours a day like singing but i think the first time they got to see me alive um and like just get to like hear like i don't know like i think growing up in the us especially you don't get a lot of chances to like kind of connect with your heritage connect with your culture so i think for them i think they were they were happy that i'm finally getting to like like come into my own and like get to like experience that for the first time do you also bring a cappella into your normal life like speak in sing in some speak <laughs> i think like are you on, those people like, who like oh my god <laughs> stop it once stop singing yeah no no this happens i think one thing that we like joke around about is like if we're ever traveling someone is always oh beatboxing yeah, someone yeah, is like yeah, it's yeah, like perking all the time um yeah my like, my yeah. a couple of my friends i think attended schools in india uh Yes. You have no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's like. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, completely. <laughs> Class me though, like no. <laughs> But yeah, this happens very often. Like a couple of my friends like had placed a bet. Like, is I even gonna beatbox today? Because I was like, <laughs> like doing it for like two months straight, every single day, everywhere I went. Yeah. So like, yeah, this is becoming like very ingrained into our lives. <laughs> I think okay. a lot of the members live together too. So like, I'll be like walking. like by one of the guys rooms and I'll just hear like someone either beatboxing singing a song doing something like the entire house is just constantly like, it doesn't matter what time yeah. of the day is it could be like 4 a.m. like someone yeah. will be making some kind of sound and yeah. the coolest thing is like every single room has a different like sound like there's so many different types of music that's yeah. like enjoy it <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like, what he's talking about is like we have a house off campus called the Masala house for like four or five Masala members say like 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 he said you could go inside and you'll hear, hear like five different types of music being played or sung. This yeah. is a nice vibe. Wow, this is lovely and we're so glad that you all made it here. Uh not just here. I'm glad to be here. But also had a performance in Mumbai in India as such. What's next guys? What's next on the plate? What's next? Sleeping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, just like more music, more collaborations. Uh yeah. That's pretty much yeah. it. There's some yeah. exciting mixes coming out in the next yeah. couple yeah. months. Yeah. yeah. Any cool concerts coming up that I want to talk about? I mean sure. Um uh we're, we're hoping to schedule another India tour in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. And this fall every time we're always traveling across the United States performing. Um so we'll have a few concerts at colleges, um a few like events here and there. So definitely stay updated on our social media channels. Usually on Instagram, YouTube we'll post updates. Clearly it the India tour was a hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> And you heard that you're coming back. So congratulations and all the very best. I really look forward to more and more Fed Masala. Thank you so much guys. Thank you. Thank you. Fed Masala today with me on Bollywood Hangama. My name is Urban. Thank you so much for watching.
Hey guys, this is Ariman. Hey, it's Vish. This is Raghu. Hey, this is Pratik. Garshkar. And we're Pem Masala, and you're watching us on Bollywood Hangama.